Welcome to another special edition of RDFNL TV. We're here at Romsey Park, and I'm you know, here with our model, uh, Mr. Nathan Hoy, and the president of the Romsey Football Netball Club, Pete Ormishar. Uh, thanks for joining us, mate. No worries. Welcome down to the club, uh, Andy. Oh, always great to be down here, mate. Now, there is a special reason uh, young Nath is, uh, is modelling this new jumper. Uh, tell, tell us a bit about this jumper. This is an away strip, the first for the RDFNL. Yes, it's a, uh, a new away strip, or clash jumper, as we want to call it. Yep. Uh, we, we wanted to put something in that was different against uh, two teams, Diggers and Riddles Creek, um, and it's been accepted with... Um, Except it very well, which yeah. is great. So now, now, how did this idea come about, mate? Well, one of our sponsors came to me at the start of the year. They, they asked if they could get some more exposure. They, they were a sponsor that's um, been around the club for a long time, a, a local uh, local business, and that they've come to me and asked what more exposure they could come up with. And I made the suggestion about a class jumper, and from that the idea grew. Now, with the design, obviously we've got the other uh, nice blue here, as opposed to the traditional red and black. Um, why, why that sort of? Uh, it was almost like a turquoise sort of colour. It is. It is. It's actually the corporate colours or the business colour of the sponsor that, which is Chess Property Consultants. Excellent. Excellent. Now, obviously, a little bit of work had to go into this, uh, and there is a. a it, there are particular games you're setting yourself to wear these through. We saw that this past weekend, which was great against Riddle. Now, how was it received? It was received really well. The, all the comments or the feedback is that um, they, they really like it. Even the juniors come up and said, can we change our jumper? <laughs> 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 That's from the juniors, you know, perspective. Because the colours look great, you know, and they stand out. You know, and, and the, on top of that, the sponsor was really, really wrapped. You know, uh, it, the, how well it came out and how... And she's... So wrapped with it, you know what I mean, that she's, you know, um, going to talk to some of her business partners and maybe help us out with the netball dress next year. That's perfect. We've, we've seen this with the AFL over the past where clash jumpers have had to be introduced as part of the, I guess, the, the yeah. rules. Um, not mandatory, obviously, in the RDFNL, but it's probably a good chance to sort of, from Romsey's point of view, to pioneer this sort of movement, not just from the financial perspective, but to, um, to add a different ver variety. And we've got a lot of muddy conditions out there, mate. Nice to have a little bit of variety in colours too. Oh, for sure. Look, there's been, it was a little bit of uh, um, angst about it at the start, about going from our traditional jumper, you know what I mean? It still is our traditional jumper, it's just not our traditional colours. Um, if we go back a fair few years, at the start of the century, we were playing in North Melbourne colours. Mm. Then we went from North Melbourne colours to the red with the black hoop, you know, for, for a fair while. And then we've gone from the, that to the, to the spider on the front. So there hasn't been one set jumper you know what I mean so but that being said our red with the black hoop is you know a traditional jumper and it'd be hard to get anyone to agree to to move that away you know but these type of things it's it's the innovation you know what I mean it's not only that if you've taken a, the indigenous jumper that our, our club embraced last year you know what I mean that 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 jumper is well received as well you know what I mean and, and, and supporters can obviously sort of get behind as well. They might want to buy a jumper as well. And obviously we're seeing that with AFL. That could be more more money towards the clubs and enhance the merchandise uh, side of things, which is great. Yes, that's right. So, look, the, the sponsorship agreement is for three years, so the jumpers belong to the club. But if the players would like, or anybody, sponsors, supporters, whoever, would like a jumper, they, it's come and see us. That's, that's absolutely magnificent. You do have set games that you, uh, you the jumper is going to be worn throughout this year. Um, when is the next time we're going to see it run around? Uh, diggers rest first the diggers rest excellent mate well it sounds like uh Nath, we might get you to sort of show around the, the back how's the back looking there mate so, yeah there we go so no, look, looking fantastic there good colors there mate well done um certainly a great step moving forward and obviously just a way to enhance the other uh, romsey football netball club product not just a senior level but a junior level too yes it is and um, and as i said the feedback and the positivity about the jumper is is generating you know a lot of interest around the club you know and, and outside the club too because i think other clubs are looking to to go that right. way too i've spoken to probably three presidents and they're all pretty keen on doing something for their club i know that somebody were talking about a reversible jumper yep. i know diggers rest had a uh not diggers rest sorry um centrals mm -hmm. had a uh, a jumper that they're considering Yep. as a class jumper and uh, and diggers rest we're also talking about maybe think doing something similar and, and i think in the past rock bank had worn something too back in the day too so and and obviously that hasn't uh, sort of continued now but i think it's good that clubs are sort of going down that avenue also yeah i think so too because on the day you want to be different yeah. you want to look different in the the heat of the moment the the hustle and bustle you know what i mean when colors are similar 
players do make mistakes. Mm. Especially umpires too. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, but from, what, from our perspective, Riddles Creek and Diggers Rest were the, 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 most, the clubs that we had the most difficulty against. It wasn't all game, but just you notice certain things that happen. Well, excellent. It's a great step uh, moving forward. Pete, Nate, thanks so much for joining right. us here on RDF and LTV. Thanks to our model here. And, uh, and, and best of luck with, uh, with the success of it during the season. Right. No, thanks. Thanks for coming down, Chris.